Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's Grade 6, Unit 6, Lesson 5, Practice Problems Review. Select all expressions that are equal to 3 and 15 hundredths over 45 hundredths. In other words, 3 and 15 hundredths divided by 45 hundredths. It's not A, but it is B. It also is C. Now, 45 hundredths, hmm, that's the same thing as 0.45, right? 45 hundredths, so D works as well. Now, 3 uh, and 15 hundredths times 100 over 45. Well, that's just taking D and multiplying by the reciprocal instead of dividing. So that works. But can we just flip it? 45 hundredths divided by 3 and 15 hundredths? No, that doesn't work. But B, C, D, and E do. Which expressions are solutions to the equation 3 fourths X equals 15? Select all that apply. Well, if you take 15 and divide by 3 fourths, you will get the correct solution. Taking 15 and divided by 4 thirds will not. If I take then 4 thirds times 15, well, look at this 15 divided by 3 fourths idea. If you keep, change, flip, reciprocal, you'll get 4 thirds times 15, not 3 fourths times 15. And 15 divided by 3 fourths, I'm pretty sure I just wrote that out. So we're looking at A, C, and E. And now in question 3, we're looking to solve each equation. In A, we have 4 times x equals 32. If I simply divide by 4 on both sides here, you'll get x equals 8, which makes sense because 4 times 8 does equal 32. A little trickier, though, here. In B, you have 4 equals 32 times x, but we're going to follow the same steps. We'll just divide by 32 on both sides here. Oh, look, I wrote division in a slightly different way, huh? This is 4 over 32 equals x. Oh, fractions, division, oh my, oh my. Divide by 4 on top and bottom, you get 1 eighth is equal to x. What about uh, 10x and c equals 26? Well, divide by 10 here. Wow, that's division. X equals 26 tenths, and if I simplify by dividing by 2 on top and bottom, I get 13 fifths, and I'm happy with that as an answer. As we move on to D, 26 equals 100 times X, divide by 100 on both sides, and 26 over 100 is going to equal X. Again, simplify by dividing by 2 on top and bottom, and you'll get 13 Fiftieths equals x. Moving on to question four. For each equation, write a story problem represented by the equation. For each equation, state what quantity x represents. If you get stuck, consider drawing a diagram. We have three-fourths plus x equals two. In this question, I wrote John ran three-fourths of a mile. Joey ran x miles. Together, they ran two miles. And so if you're looking for what x represents, it's, well, the number of miles that Joey ran. What about 1 and 5 tenths, or 1 and a half x equals 6? I could say that I, Mr. Richards, made 1 and a half batches of pancakes. I used 6 cups of flour. What does that mean x represents? Well, x would represent the amount of flour in one batch of pancakes. And now, write as many mathematical expressions or equations as you can about the image. Include a fraction, a decimal number, or a percentage in each. We could say a fifth of 250,000 equals 500,000. I mean, if you think about it, this is divided into fifths. So one fifth, two fifth, three fifth. 4 fifth and 5 fifths is our 100%. I mean, and then I just built everything based on that. 20% of 250,000 is 50,000. And 2 tenths, which is 20% as a decimal, times 250,000 is 50,000. Now, in question 5, in a lilac plant mixture, 40% of the mixture is white, paint, 20% is blue, and the rest is red. There are 4 cups of blue paint used in a lilac, or in a batch of lilac paint. How many cups of white are used? How many cups of red are used? How many cups of lilac paint will this, paint will this batch yield? If you get stuck, consider using a tape diagram. Let's write down what we know. We know 
equals white. We know 20% equals blue. And the rest is red. Well, 40 plus 20 is 60, which means the rest of red is 40%. Now, what else do we know? We know that uh, four cups of blue are used. And so, if 20% is blue, we can double that to get eight cups for the white, because 20 times two is 40, which means then there's eight cups of the red. So how much paint is yielded here? Eight plus four plus eight is 16 cups total for that 100% yield. To answer the questions, how many cups of white paint are used? Eight cups. Red paint, eight cups. Lilac paint, 16. Last question. Triangle P has a base of 12 inches and a corresponding height of 8 inches. Triangle Q has a base of 15 inches and a corresponding height of 6.5 inches. Which triangle has a greater area? Show your reasoning. Well, area is equal to 1 half the base times the height. And so if we look at triangle P, area is equal to 1 half base times height. So 1 half times 12 times 8, which is going to be 48 square inches. If we look at Q, again, area equals 1 half base times height. So that means we're going to take a half of 15 and multiply it by 6 and a half. And when we do that, the half of 15 times 6 and a half is going to be 48 and 75 hundredths square inches, and so Q has the larger area. That's it for this grade six practice problems review. Good luck.